Hello chess lovers, I have a fantastic chess puzzle for you composed by a Soviet chess composer Yakov Neistat. It's white to move and draw the game. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Just for your orientation, white pawns are moving this way and black pawns this way. Ready? Well, right now white king is in danger. If you promote your pawn to a queen, then after bishop takes f2 check, black is checkmating white king. Or instead of promoting to a queen, if you play something like rook d1 in order to cover your king, then again, bishop takes f2 is winning, rook takes h1, pawn takes h1, and this is a checkmate. So, white comes up with a brilliant idea to draw the game by sacrificing all his pieces. First, white is sacrificing his rook on d3, bishop takes d3, and now knight f4 check, sacrificing the knight as well. By the way, if you sacrifice your knight first instead of rook d3, knight f4 check, then after e takes f4, rook d3 check, black has this f3 move and black is winning. So you have to play the right move order. First, rook d3 check, bishop takes d3, and only now knight f4 check. E takes f4, and now comes the queen, queen f3 check, g takes f3, and now can you find white's next move? Well, white is promoting his pawn to a... If you promote to a queen, then this is losing. After bishop f5, queen takes f5, queen g4. Queen b1, black has this bishop takes f2 move again, and after queen takes h1, we see a checkmate on the board. Let's go back. So, white is promoting his pawn to a bishop. This is amazing. Bishop f5, bishop takes f5 check, queen g4 and bishop b1. And this is a draw. If bishop takes f2, this is a stalemate and a draw. Or if you move your queen, then bishop f5 check, queen g4 and again bishop b1. Or if queen c8, then bishop f5 check again, queen takes f5. Pay attention, please. Black queen is controlling the b1 square, and this is a stalemate and a draw. What an amazing chess puzzle by Yakov Neistat. Your comments and questions, please. And thanks for watching.